Here's how I went from completely broke to stacking over $100,000 in my bank account in less than a year. I was in a pretty bad spot. I got caught cheating in school. I was on the verge of dropping out. My long-term girlfriend just dumped me. I was losing thousands of dollars per month with my business. And I honestly just felt like a complete failure. I ended up saying, I'm gonna get a sales job, appointment setting part-time. That way I can supplement my income. And then hopefully that would help my other business. So the first half of my day, I was doing appointment setting. And then the second half, I was failing at wholesale real estate. I'd wake up at 4.35 a.m. and I'd work until I fell asleep at 9 or 10 every single night. I was putting in a ton of time, but I wasn't making a ton of money. I know how much other people are making at the company. I just have to figure out how to get as good as them. I knew if I was focusing on multiple different things that I wouldn't be as successful as I could be. And then I'd always have that crutch of, oh, but I was doing this and I was doing that. And that's why I failed. I had to cut out all the distractions. So within, you know, a matter of days, I ended up dropping out of college. The next day I was shutting down that business business for wholesaling. And I said, I'm going to go all in. When I started the appointment setting, honestly, I sucked at it. Call after call after call. No one wanted to take my appointments. And so what did I end up doing? I started doing more volume than everyone else. Because I was doing more volume than them, I actually ended up getting pretty good at it. I became quickly the top performing setter at the company. I was making 65,000 a year, kind of in that range, depending on the commission check. And I sat there and looked at the average college graduate, they were making 55,000 a year out of college. And so I was stoked that I was hitting these numbers. But the thing is my dad used to always tell me the story of one of his friends that got a job right out of high school and he was making more money than everyone else. But pretty soon everyone passed him up because they had more leverage with the opportunities they were in after school. The last thing I wanted to be was this guy who was successful right off the bat, I knew I needed to take the next step and level up my skill set. Logically, the next step for that was going from setting to closing. I asked my manager, I asked the lead sales guy, and they said, well, you look like you're 12, man. I don't, I don't know if you're going to be able to do that, but come to the morning trainings and we'll see what you can do. So I started going to the morning trainings, an hour a day, 7 a.m. every single day of the week. And at the beginning, I was terrible. I could barely speak. I was stuttering over my words. I honestly thought I was doomed, but I knew if I used the same same philosophy that I used before that I was just going to be able to be successful at this position. As I was coming to those morning trainings, they ended up saying, Hey, you know what? You can start managing all of our calendars. This will build another skill set for you to start closing. And this is where I started working eight, 10 hours a day, managing the calendars a month or two of doing this. I go, okay, what else can I do? I'm ready for the next thing. And they go, you look like you're 12. I don't think a business owner will take you seriously right now, but you can go and try to close personal trainers because we had a personal training package and then we had our more business to business offer for actual gym owners. If you can find and hunt your own people, then hey, if you can close them, then go ahead and do it. So that's what I started to do, finding different people, shooting DM, 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 30, 50 DMs a day to be able to start closing these deals. Finally got my first guy to jump on a call with me. I'm sitting there in a thousand square foot house with two other dudes. I'm stacking up these books so I can get a good angle for my Zoom so I could try to look a little bit older. I, I'm sweating, I'm super nervous. I jump on this call with this guy and I just go through the process that I've been practicing. It went by like a blur. And then next thing I knew he handed me $5,000. This was a huge moment for me because it broke that belief of I can do this. Granted, I knew I got lucky. Like this was the first person I hopped on a call with. I hit the home run on the first bat, but I did know it was possible. And so I started shooting DM after DM, 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 DM. And I continued to shoot the DMs and put in more volume because I knew volume would negate luck. I started getting on more calls. Of course, I didn't close the next couple of people I hopped in with because I sucked, but then I slowly got better to the point where I was closing two of these per week. During this whole time, I was still living off less than $2,000 a month. Month after month, I started stacking cash. Before I knew it, I had 25,000, 30,000. This is the moment where I hit that six figure run rate, but I wanted more. I didn't wanna be the guy that just started making six figures and got stuck there. And so I continue to ask, buddy, you look like you're 12. Just keep doing what you're doing it. You're crushing it there. And at this point, this made me mad because I proved to myself that I was able to close these deals, but they still didn't have faith or hope in me that I was gonna be able to close the higher ticket deals. After bugging them a couple more times, continuing the ask, they say, hey, look, if you can go and do the same thing that you're doing with the personal trainers to the actual business owners, then we'll give you a shot at closing a deal. Bring me back one. Flashback to you know a year earlier, I was actually selling all Alex's gym equipment. 
through this process, I had a gym owner buy some equipment for me. So I shot him a DM and I said, DM, 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 DM. Hey, how's the gym equipment? By the way, do you need more people using it? Ha ha. And he goes, ha ha, yes, we jump on a call. Throughout that call process, I ended up closing him on the $20,000 package. I'm like, hey, look, I closed my first deal. Let me close some more of them. And they go, man, I think you got lucky. You look like you're 12. Like everyone on the closing floor is 10 years older than you. Like, why do you think you can do this? And I'm like, I just did it. Bring me another and then, you know, we'll get you on the closing floor. And at this point in time, I was working three different jobs. I was doing the appointment setting, I was managing the calendars, and I was closing these deals. And then on top of that, I was trying to close the other type of deals. I was working from the second I woke up to the second I went to sleep. And it was, you know, chaotic because I was managing a bunch of different things. I went out, I started shooting a DM, a DM, 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 continued to shoot these messages. And then it got to the point where, boom, I got my second one. I bring it to him and I go, boom, I got my second one. Let's set up a meeting, let's jump on. And he looks at me and he goes, good work, but still not there yet. Bring me one more. And after he, after he said this, I got off the computer and I just went on a long walk. And I was <laughs> bumping Drake, trying to get my head straight because I was honestly really thinking about quitting, going back to school, stopping all of this stuff because I was doing all these things, but they just wouldn't take me seriously because- Buddy, you look like you're 12. And so I was very, very frustrated. I knew I had two decisions. I could quit, I could walk away, say I was wrong about dropping out of school, or I could continue to push a little bit harder and get another one so they'd put me on the closing floor. I went back to it, DM, 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 DM. And I brought that next one. Can I start closing now? I brought another one. And he looks at me and he goes, you know what? Bring me two more and then we can talk about it. You look like you're 12. I cannot tell you how mad I was after this conversation. Like it almost broke me because I was working and dedicating and sacrificing everything to this. I was super angry, I was pissed off. I would get to the finish line, I'd almost cross it and they'd pull the finish line back. And I continue to push, I continue to push. And then finally, we're having a company meeting. We sit down and we watch this call. And I was super nervous because I was sitting there in front of all these people that I respected, I looked up to, and they were all gonna pick apart you know, my call and how I did. The CEO and everyone else spoke on my call and they said, granted, you look like you're 12, but you handled that call like a complete professional. And then after the call, the CEO says, hey, jump in my room. So I go ahead, I jump in his Zoom room and he just shares his screen and he pulls up this paper and it says, $150,000 OTE on target earnings. If I was able to, you know, do as well as the average closer, I'd make $150,000 moving forward. And just as fast as the excitement hit, boom, I was so scared. And the reason I was scared is because he goes, hey, look, if you're not able to keep up with the team, you're gonna get moved down to the position you were before. And so I remember the first week I closed the couple, it was amazing. I was like, this is my path. This is what I meant to do. I'm gonna do this. But then the next week I didn't close any deals. And I swear to you, the next week I did not sleep at all. I was so scared of being the person who got the opportunity, but then, you know, quickly stepped into it and failed it. What other people would think, what my friends would think, what my family would think, what the other people I respected at the company would think if I stepped into this and then I just dropped the ball. The next week I closed a couple, then I closed a couple more and I, and I continued to start closing. And then pretty soon I was up there in the, you know, top two people closing these deals week after week, month after month. I continued to live super cheap as I was stacking up this cash and those notes that I wrote to myself every day saying 100,000 by 2022, 100,000 by 2022, I ended up hitting that relatively quickly after I got the position with a higher amount of leverage. At the beginning, you don't deserve anything. You haven't proved anything to yourself, to the other people around you. You're the young guy coming in. In my opinion, if you go in with the mindset of, I don't deserve anything, I'm here to learn, they're testing you. They're trying to figure out if you have what it takes to be a high performer at a young age.